What's happening everyone? This is MacBoy from MacBoy Productions and today I'm going to discuss some of the pros and cons of the Apple Magic Trackpad, the wireless keyboard and the magic wand from 12 self. And uh, here I have it right here in my hand as you can see right there. That's the wireless keyboard, that's the trackpad and here we are connecting those two together is the magic wand. Alright so I'm going to start off with the Apple Magic Trackpad right here and um, I have to say it is probably one of the most innovative things Apple has made in a very long time. I mean it does the job to the best of its ability. The range isn't bad but I have to say that the batteries that Apple gives you with the Apple Magic Trackpad suck. After about moving two meters further from my Mac, the Bluetooth connectivity completely depleted. But when I added some Duracell batteries in there, the range went up to about five or six meters. But after about five or six meters, guys, I can notice that my mouse starts to jump from one spot to another, telling me that it's lagging. You know, the great thing about the trackpad is that you can actually tap to click. But I'm glad Apple put this feature in the system preferences. Moving on to the keyboard on the left, it's the exact same thing as your original wired keyboard, except you don't have the numeric keypad. It is smaller and you do sometimes tend to miss the numeric keypad, but it's all for the good. Same thing with the trackpad, you have to replace the Energizer batteries with Duracell batteries for maximum performance. Otherwise, say you're lying down on your bed and you're controlling your Mac from these, they're barely going to work. Now you can tell that the trackpad and the keyboard are being held together by these things in the middle. And it's not just that, it's actually the magic wand from 12 South. That's right, this bar right here, this rod is holding these two things together. The great thing about it is it holds obviously the two things together so you don't have to have one hand on one side and your other hand on the other side. Also it provides you with these two extra pieces with the package that stop the keyboard and the trackpad from separating. Now a really bad thing about the magic wand is that every time you want to connect your keyboard and your trackpad to your computer all you have to do is hit this power button on this side but as you can tell you can't really hit that power button. So you have to either take it off and press it yourself, connect it and put it back on or find a pin and insert it in that little slot right there. And lastly, the 12th South Magic Wand is $30 at the Apple Store. 70, 70, 30. Bounce!